What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, today's video was all about SoFi. Matter of fact, do me a favor. First, please like and subscribe. Make sure this video at least gets 1,000 likes. Then also let me know down in the comments below if you have shares of SoFi, and if so, how many? And bearings today, guys, check it out. The debt deal would end freeze on student loan payments, which is why SoFi jumped. Check this out, guys. SoFi, for a long time now, has been running a tight ship, but has continuously been burdened by student loan freezes and the pausing of student loans, and that segment of their business has taken a hit. However, these things has played a role in keeping a great, well-ran company down, okay? However, today I wanna kinda of break down for you why this stock may be one you wanna put on your radar if you're not in it already because there's more room to run especially if you have a long-term horizon okay let's go ahead and dive into it okay guys bringing out the financials here on sofi we are looking at revenue okay they're up 46 percent in revenue net income guys they're up 68 percent Diluted EPS earnings per share that represents guys they're up 64.29% net profit margin they are up another 78.6% guys I'm walking you through the financials because as you guys look in terms into whether or not you want to invest in a company long term you want to make sure the financials are reflecting the right thing and I'm showing you right now a well ran company and we're just looking at their quarterly financials just this past March, okay? Their operating income, 61.25%. Listen, despite the student loan freezes, despite the banks collapsing and all of this, this company is one that is well ran and should break out whether in the near term or whether in the future on a more consistent run than it has already ran thus far okay so again so far is one that i want on your radar in terms of a great well-ran growth company that is in a fintech space that has a lot of future potential especially if this debt deal gets done okay and then we're looking down here at cost of revenue 19 percent they're up in that as well across the board guys you see nothing but a company that is doing its thing that is running its business the right way despite the headwinds okay with that being said guys listen you have a chance right now if you have a long-term outlook okay and typically when you are building out your portfolio you want to invest in companies that are well ran that is why so many people flock to apple that is why so many people flock to microsoft because their balance sheets their income statements and things of that nature makes it a must have type of ordeal in your investment portfolio okay same can be said about this up and coming company that through all the mayhem has done its thing all right on the day taking a look at sofi ticker symbol s o f i it is sitting at six dollars and 96 cent up 15 percent on the day alone okay this news that i'm sharing with you guys is a reason for the boom however i see future potential in this just because beyond the news they are a well-ran company as i just shared with you guys in the fundamentals okay over the past week they're up nearly 30 percent all right i see more room to run in the month of june that's why this stock will be part of my stocks to buy for June when I released that video, so stay tuned for that, okay? Over the past month, they are up 18%, and over the past three months, they are up 7.5%, okay? I see $7 being definitely on the horizon in the near future, and I'm talking very near future for SoFi, but it wouldn't surprise me, guys, if they continue on this trajectory as this being one of the companies that might go as high as ten dollars and i won't even rule out that 12 to 14 dollars okay we're talking a potential double up before i go that far though i just want to take it step by step that's what we do as investors okay you invest in quality companies and well-ran companies and then when they take off like we saw nvidia do when they take off like you saw uh, Meta did this particular year after being beat down. 
you you just are along for the ride versus playing it in a in a in a more reckless way okay so again guys i see a very very bright future for sofi however right now i think that seven dollars and fifty cent range is next and something we will potentially test in the month of june okay so again guys put this on your radar because this is one of the rail ran companies that are in the high risk category okay high risk high reward but if you're going to do your dd you want to take a small position in this this will be one of those ones to consider like i said before let me know down in the comments below if you have so far already and if you do how many shares do you have and is it a long-term hold for you is it a short-term hold for you and what do you see for yourself as it relates to SoFi, all right? With that being said, guys, check it out. They are continuing to do their thing, but I want to caution you guys. They are not exempt from when the market pulls back as a whole, they will come right back down with it. If you see the fundamentals I laid out for you, and if you see, you know what? The pullback is just a chance for me to get in. Guys, that's your chance to accumulate more shares as this comes down in price as it drops down maybe back down here to this let's say that's six dollars and 20 cent level okay when it comes back down there that may be an entry if you can get it however i foresee this stock even on a pullback retesting support and trudging its way higher towards that seven dollar mark and eventually that seven dollars and 50 cent mark okay and then from there we will assess everything that's going on from a macro level all the way down to the micro level to see okay does this still have more room to run or does it need to cool off with that being said guys i also wanted to take a look at the spy on today ticker symbol spy again it is what i would call flat on the day down a dollar and 50 cent plus if you will but it did test my support level of 416.30. I talked about this in the Discord in terms of those of you that are looking to get into this on today, all right? It was trending down in pre-market. I said, we're gonna have support at around that 416.30 level, okay? And that level of support, which is again, one we have bounced off of, and now we are making our way back up to this 418 level and we are making what is known as a cup. What I need you to look out for next is if we form the cup and handle because that could be the move we need to go back towards that 420 mark. Listen guys, this is a game of high level chess and it takes a lot of patience, okay? However, you must be disciplined each and every day you show up to make money in the stock market, okay? Because if you ignore the levels we talk about each and every day on the videos as well as in the Discord, you can you can run yourself crazy and want to pull your hair out over how the market may move but if you are able to maintain your composure trust the process trust the information you're given every day guys you will reap the benefits all right with that being said listen i want to say major salute to those of you that did your thing today let's keep showing up and showing out and taking our game to the next level one day at a time one play at a time okay with that being said listen we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey so do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace